हेलो एवरीवन आई एम बालाजी राव वेलकम टू बी आर मैक्स क्लास दिस इज सिक्सटीन क्लास ऑन वेक्टर ऑलजिब्रा इन केस इफ यू नॉट वॉच इड एरलियर क्लासेस आई एल गिव वेक्टर ऑलजिब्रा प्ले लिस्ट लिंक इन कॉर्ड्स हियर इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट जोमेट्रिकल मीनिंग ऑफ डॉट प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू वेक्टर्स इट मीन्स वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ ए वेक्टर ऑन अनदर वेक्टर एंड वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द डॉट प्रोडक्ट इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव ओवर एडिशन ऑन वेक्टर्स दीज थिंग्स वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इन दिस क्लास बिफोर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो प्लीज ड्रॉप ए लाइक फॉर दिस वीडियो विदाउट मच डिले लेट्स बिगेन द क्लास observe this projection of a vector b bar on a bar in this concept only you will learn the geometrical meaning of dot product of vectors after completion of this definition i'll give you three important points last point will tells you the geometrical meaning of dot product of vectors to understand geometrical meaning of dot product of these two vectors please watch this video till the end first i'll write the definition of projection of b bar on a bar you observe this first i'll consider two non zero vectors let a bar comma b bar are two non zero vectors and theta is angle between them i'll draw the diagram for this you observe here i consider two non zero vectors a bar b bar i taken oa bar as a bar ob bar as b bar and theta is angle between them then what is projection of b bar on a bar you observe this diagram in this diagram i'll draw bp which is perpendicular to oa draw bp which is perpendicular to oa then you observe here the length op you observe the distance between the points o and p op this op is called projection of b bar on the vector a bar you observe this draw bp which is perpendicular to oa then op this distance is called projection of b bar on a bar what is the definition of a projection of b bar on a bar let a bar comma b bar are any two non zero vectors such that oa bar is a bar ob bar equal to b bar and theta is angle between them draw bp which is perpendicular to oa then op then op is called projection of b bar on a bar this is definition of projection of b bar on a bar in simple words the projection of b bar on a bar can be explained like this you observe this this is the bulb okay if some rays incident on the vector b bar this is the vector b bar na if some rays incident on the vector b bar then it shadow will appear on the vector a bar that shadow is op the shadow of b bar on a bar is known as projection of b bar on a bar in mathematics in simple words we will explain like this op is the projection of b bar on a bar now we will calculate the formula for op you observe that diagram in that triangle obp is there triangle obp is a right angle triangle in this triangle what is cos theta in this triangle what is cos theta we know that cos theta means adjacent side by hypotenuse you observe this is theta na this bp is opposite side of theta na this is opposite side opposite to 90 degrees is the hypotenuse so this is adjacent side cos theta formula is what adjacent side by hypotenuse what is adjacent side adjacent side is op op divided by hypotenuse what is hypotenuse hypotenuse is ob ob is nothing but magnitude of the vector b bar so here ob i need to write ob is same as magnitude of the vector b bar from this we can write op what is op op equal to magnitude of b bar into cos theta so what is op op is projection of b bar on a bar so we got the formula projection of b bar on a bar is what is magnitude of b bar into cos theta now i'll discuss three important points related to projection of b bar on a bar please try to understand all those three points then only you will get geometrical meaning of dot product of vectors you observe this first note point projection of b bar on a bar 
just now we got the formula what is projection of b bar on a bar that formula is magnitude of b bar into cos theta just now we calculated this projection of b bar on a bar is modulus of b bar into cos theta okay here if i simplify this further what i'll get magnitude of b bar into in last class we learned seven important points related to dot product of vectors there we learned the formula for cos theta what is the formula for cos theta the formula for cos theta is a bar dot b bar divided by magnitude of a bar into magnitude of b bar this is the formula for cos theta now magnitude means scalar na so here this this will get cancelled so what you are getting you are getting that a bar dot b bar divided by magnitude of a bar so this is the formula we use very frequently to calculate projection of b bar on a bar try to understand so what is projection of b bar on a bar formula a bar dot b bar divided by magnitude of a bar to memorize this there is a trick projection of b bar on a bar on a bar so in the denominator you write magnitude of a bar so that you can remember it easily b bar on a bar that means denominator contains magnitude of a bar so this is the formula we use very frequently what is that formula projection of b bar on a bar formula is a bar dot b bar divided by magnitude of a bar i said total three formulas now this is the first formula now you see second point you see this formula projection of a bar on b bar you see this is projection of b bar on a bar here in place of b bar here a bar is there in place of a bar here b bar is there we know that angle between the vectors a bar comma b bar is same as angle between the vectors b bar comma a bar so here what this can be written here in place of b bar here a bar is there na here also in place of b bar i'll write a bar magnitude of a bar into cos theta so you can write like this it's a simple thing here a bar will be there here b bar will be there right so projection of a bar on b bar we can write like this i used this formula to write this okay that equal to magnitude of a bar into what is cos theta formula cos theta formula is a bar dot b bar divided by magnitude of a bar into magnitude of b bar you see this magnitude of a bar will get cancelled as it is a scalar now what you got you got that a bar dot b bar divided by magnitude of b bar you got the second formula what is projection of a bar on b bar here on b bar is there na on b bar you see in the denominator magnitude of b bar is there so projection of a bar on b bar is a bar dot b bar divided by magnitude of b bar these two are same formulas only just a bar b bar are interchanged okay so you learn two formulas projection of b bar on a bar formula is what a bar dot b bar divided by magnitude of a bar projection of a bar on b bar is a bar dot b bar divided by magnitude of b bar as i said i am going to explain geometrical meaning of dot product of vectors this third point will gives you the geometrical meaning of dot product of vectors the third point will come from these two points only what is that third point you observe this formula projection of b bar on a bar is what a bar dot b bar divided by magnitude of a bar na from this from this formula what is a bar dot b bar a bar dot b bar is what you take magnitude of a bar to the left hand side then what you will get you will get like this a bar dot b bar equal to you take this magnitude of a bar to this side equal to magnitude of a bar projection of b bar on a bar projection of b bar on a bar please try to understand what is the geometrical meaning of dot product of vectors a bar dot b bar is magnitude of a bar into projection of b bar on a bar see projection of b bar on a bar means op op is projection of b bar on a bar what dot product tells you dot product is multiplication of magnitude of a bar and projection of b bar on a bar and you observe this by using this formula also i will get a bar dot b bar what is a bar dot b bar you take magnitude of b bar to this side a bar dot b bar equal to magnitude of b bar into projection of a bar on b bar okay so you observe what the main point i am trying to say this gives the geometrical meaning of dot product of vectors a bar dot b bar can be written as magnitude of a bar into projection of b bar on a bar you can memorize this very easily here first beginning with a bar ending with a bar right magnitude of a bar into projection of b bar on a bar 
a bar dot b bar can be written as you see starts with b bar ends with b bar okay to memorize i am saying this trick a bar dot b bar can be written as magnitude of b bar into projection of a bar on b bar till now what you learn you learn about projection of b bar on a bar you consider two vectors a bar b bar like this projection of b bar on a bar is what you draw bp which is perpendicular to oa then this op is called projection of b bar on a bar to calculate projection of b bar on a bar we got two formulas you see what is this first formula projection of b bar on a bar is a bar dot b bar divided by magnitude of a bar to memorize this easily there is a trick on a bar is then on a bar so in the denominator modulus of a bar you see next formula projection of a bar on b bar projection of a bar on b bar here on b bar is there na see in its formula in the denominator magnitude of b bar will be there so what is the formula for projection of a bar on b bar the formula is a bar dot b bar divided by magnitude of b bar now we are going to derive very very important result dot product is distributive over addition i am going to derive this result please watch this till the end to understand in last class we learned total 7 points na whatever i discussed now that is 8th point now what i am going to discuss that is 9th point you observe this result i am going to derive now a bar dot b bar plus c bar is a bar dot b bar plus a bar dot c bar this tells you that dot product is distributive over vector addition i am going to derive this result to derive this result i'll i need to consider three vectors a bar b bar c bar i'll consider three vectors a bar b bar c bar like this you observe here i consider three vectors a bar b bar c bar o a bar as a bar o b bar as b bar b c bar as c bar i consider three vectors now what i am trying to prove i am trying to prove that a bar dot b bar plus c bar equal to a bar dot b bar plus a bar dot c bar just now in third point we learned this a bar dot b bar can be written as magnitude of a bar into projection of b bar on a bar to memorize this i given trick also here starts with a bar means ends with a bar right so a bar dot b bar can be written as magnitude of a bar into projection of b bar on a bar i'll apply this formula to this a bar dot b bar plus c bar can be written as magnitude of a bar into magnitude of a bar into projection of b bar plus c bar projection of b bar plus c bar on a bar by using this formula this can be written like this okay magnitude of a bar into projection of b bar plus c bar on a bar now i'll try to identify what is projection of b bar plus c bar on a bar in this diagram first of all you observe this is b bar this is c bar na from triangle law of vector addition we know what is this vector you observe ob bar plus bc bar ob bar plus bc bar is oc bar what is this this is addition of these two vectors what is this oc bar this oc bar is b bar plus c bar this vector is addition of these two vectors okay now what i want i want projection of b bar plus c bar on a bar see this is b bar plus c bar na what is projection of b bar plus c bar on a bar i'll draw cp you observe i'll draw cp which is perpendicular to oa draw cp which is perpendicular to oa then op is called projection of b bar plus c bar on a bar that is what we learned just now okay so what is projection of b bar plus c bar on a bar that is op so i'll write op here op magnitude of a bar into op if you observe this diagram i'll try to identify projection of b bar on a bar projection of b bar on a bar to get projection of b bar on a bar you draw bd which is perpendicular to oa what is od od is projection of b bar on a bar na right so here you observe this op op can be written as od plus dp the sum of distances od plus dp is op so here op is there na so what i'll do magnitude of a bar into this op can be written as od plus dp this is simple this is scalar this is scalar this is scalar what i can do i can multiply multiply them what you will get magnitude of a bar into od plus magnitude of a bar into dp okay so this equal to magnitude of a bar into 
what is od od is projection of b bar and a bar na so i'll write that plus magnitude of a bar into what is dp dp observe this carefully what is dp dp is projection of c bar on a bar i said na we'll treat this projection as a shadow if we keep some light rays on the vector c bar that shadow will appear here that is known as a projection okay so what is this dp dp is projection of a c bar on a bar so here dp is there na? in place of dp what i can write dp is projection of c bar on a bar in projection of b bar on a bar we learn three important points now in that third point by using third point you see magnitude of a bar into projection of b bar on a bar magnitude of a bar into projection of b bar on a bar can be written as a bar dot b bar see in geometrical meaning of dot product of vectors we learned that a bar dot b bar can be written as magnitude of a bar into projection of b bar on a bar so that is what i written magnitude of a bar into projection of b bar on a bar can be written as a bar dot b bar plus plus magnitude of a bar into projection of c bar on a bar this is very simple magnitude of a bar into projection of c bar on a bar is nothing but a bar dot c bar this we learned from geometrical meaning of dot product of vectors so what happened finally i proved that a bar dot b bar plus c bar a bar dot b bar plus c bar is a bar dot b bar plus a bar dot c bar so till now we learned nine important points in this dot product of vectors I hope you understand this class. If you like this video, please drop a like and share this video with your friends so that they also will get benefit. In case, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, subscribe now. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.